Hello guys, welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series powered by Ambition Software. In the last video, we have discussed decision making statements in C. Today, we will discuss conditional operator and switch case control structure to make the decisions. Let's start our discussion with the conditional operator. Conditional operator is a one more way to make the decisions in C. Question mark colon sign is used to represent the conditional operator. Here is the syntax to write the conditional operator. First, we write the condition, then question mark, then the statement which should be followed if condition is true, colon, and the statement which should be followed if condition is false. Conditional operator is also called ternary operator because it works with three arguments. Conditional operator can be nested. Let's take some example to be familiar with the conditional operator. To understand the conditional operator, we rewrite the program to find the max of two numbers using conditional operator. First we create two variables a and b and third variable max to receive the result. Then we receive the input from the user by sending a message enter any two numbers and then store two numbers at the address of a and address of b by using a scanf statement. Now to find the max Using the condition operator, we write the statement max equal to a is greater than b. If a is greater than b, then max should be a, otherwise max should be b. So we write the statement a is greater than b, question mark, max is a, colon sign, max is b. Here, question mark work as a if statement and colon works as a else statement. Then try to check the output by printing the value of max compile and run the program to check the output here you see that output screen appear with the simple message enter any two number we enter two number four and six and you see that max is six now move to the one more example which will show you how to nest the conditional operator in this example we want to find the max of three numbers so first we create three variable abc and fourth variable max which is stored the result. Now we receive the input from the user by using the printf statement and send the message enter any three numbers and then use the scanf statement to store the three numbers at the address of A, address of B and address of C. Now to find the max of three numbers we first write the condition a is greater than b if this condition is true then again we check a is greater than c if this condition is again true then max will be a otherwise max will be c here you see that this condition should be followed if first condition is true if in the starting first condition a is greater than b is false then we move to the false part and then check the condition b is greater than c then max will be b otherwise max will be c to check the output just print the value of max here you see that the nested condition are enclosed in brackets this makes the program easier to understand otherwise it is not necessary compile and run the program to check the output here we enter three numbers 4 3 5 and you see that output is 5 look at the one more way to write the previous program here is the program to find the max of two numbers using conditional operator now we again write the conditional statement to find the max of two number but in this statement we write a is greater than b then max will be a otherwise max will be b now compile and run the program to check the output. Here you see that an error is occurred and the error is L value required. Why this error is occurred? Let's check the program and try to find it. In this program, the precedence of colon sign is higher than the precedence of assignment operator. So this statement is treated like this and first the expression enclosed in the brackets is evaluated and the result 
is generated and in the result b is assigned the result is constant and constant cannot be changed so the error is occurred l value required to solve this problem enclose the expression max equal to b in the brackets now compile in the program to check the output here you see that the program is running well we enter to number 4 and 5 and you see that max is 5 now we move to the another topic called switch case control structure switch case control structure is another way to make the decisions in c switch case control structure manage the long series of if else statements easily and make your program easy to read and understand in background switch case control structure forms a jump table which perform fast comparatively to the if else statements now we discuss the syntax of switch case control statements here is the way to write the switch case statement in this statement first the value of the switch variable is matched with each case constant if any one constant is matched with the value of the variable then all the statements after that are executed otherwise all the statement written after the default are executed let's take an example to understand more in this example we want to print the weekday based on the day number if user input 0 then we print sunday if user input 1 then we print monday and so on to create this program we first take a variable day and receive the value of day from the user first we print the message enter any day and also add say 0 to 6 so user does not get confused and receive the value of day by using the scanf statement and store it on the address of day now to check the value of day we use the switch construct write the switch and and close the day within the brackets now if the value of day is 0 then we print sunday if the value of day is 1 then we print monday and follow this series until the 6 if user does not input the value between 0 to 6 then no one catch will be matched so for that case we add a statement default which is executed when no case is matched with the value of day and we print here invalid input compile run the program to check the output here you see that the output screen appear with a simple message enter any day say 0 to 6 we enter 5 and you see the output is friday saturday invalid input that is actually unexpected why this happens we will check out but as you see in this program in the compiling window two warnings are appear and the warnings are implicit declaration of built in function printf and it is similar for the scanf this warning appear if we does not include the header file stdio.h so to fix this warning we include the header file stdio.h and as you see in the previous output if you enter the 5 then all the print statement after the fives are executed why this happens because i told you in the syntax of the switch that the value of the switch variable is matched with the each of the case constant and if value is matched with any one constant then all the statements after that case are executed so here the value of day is executed with 5 and all the statement after the fives are executed and the output will friday saturday and invalid input if you does not happy with this output and you want to fix it then you need to put the break statement after the each case statements the break statement jumps the control out of the current block or we can say out of the switch here if day is matched with 0 then just print the sunday and control goes out of the switch and similarly we follow each case constant with break but because default appears at the end so 
no break is required after the default. In this way, you can fix the problem. Again, compile another program to check the output. Here we enter the five, and you see that output is Friday. Let's take one more example based on the switch case construct. In this example, we want to print the day in a month. If user input one, then the days in the month one is thirty one. If user input two, the day is either twenty eight or twenty nine based on the year. In the similar manner, we want to print the days in a month, which is input by the user. So to start this program, we first take a variable m and receive the month month number from the user. We first send the message enter any month, and for the user help, we send the add the message say one to twelve. Then we store the month. at the address of m to check the value of month we put the month in the switch the possible value of day can be 3 first the 31 days second the 30 days and the 28 days we temporarily leave the condition of the leap year and we assume that the days in a second month is 28 now how to group these days with the month so 31 days are appear in the month 1 month 3 month 5 month 7 month 8 month 10 or month 12 and nest this printf statement under the cases and put the break statement after this statement how this works if you remember the syntax i told you that the value of the switch variable is matched with each of the case constant and if any one case constant is matched then all the statement after that are executed in the similar manner case 30 is followed by case 4 case 6 case 9 and case 11 and put the break after the case statement in the case 2 the days are 28 so we nest the 28 days within the case 2 but in the case 2 there are two possibilities first is the 29 days and second is the 28 days to get the accurate output we need the year so we create a variable y and in the case 2 we receive the year also from the user by sending message enter the year and store the year value on the address of variable y now we check the year is leap year or not by adding the condition of leap year this condition is already discussed in the previous chapters and if the year is leap year then the days are 29 days otherwise the days are 28 days now this program is perfectly all right but if user enter anything else rather than the 1 to 12 then the default statement are executed and we add the statement invalid input under the default con statement compile another program to check the output here we enter the month is 5 and you see that the days are 31 days now i think you feel comfortable with the switch case control structure but still there are some rules related to the switch case control structure the first rule is the case constant can be integer constant or character constant floating point constants or string constants are not allowed for example case 5 is allowed case a where a is a character constant is allowed but case 5.4 and lx is not allowed next rule is case constant can be a constant or constant expression variable or variable expressions are not allowed for example case 5 here 5 is a constant so it is allowed 4 plus 5 this is a constant expression so it is allowed but case x here x is a variable so it is not allowed and case x plus 5 becomes a variable expression so it is also not allowed duplicate cases are not allowed within the same switch construct means If you enclose case five and case two plus three within the same switch constructs, that are not allowed because both of the constants are 
evolutes 5. In the similar manner, case A and case 65 within the same switch are not allowed because the ASCII of A is 65. So both of them are same. It is not necessary to maintain the order of cases, but it is a good programming practice to maintain the order. Default and break are used when it is necessary. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. If you have any queries or suggestions, then comment on us. Thank you.